it's Adrian's weather forecast. Welcome back to another video and hope you guys are having a wonderful day. In this video, we're, I'm going to be talking about potential blizzard conditions in the Midwest. So this is what the radar looks like right now. Um, so you see no snow there in the Midwest, just some little mix and there's parts of Iowa. But as it goes on to the weekend, you can see some snow intensifies there in South Dakota and parts of Nebraska. And it stays there for a while. By December 2nd, it starts to get out of uh, South Dakota and stays in Nebraska. And then still in Nebraska there, December 3rd, finally leaves and goes on and disappears. And then, yeah, it's gone. But you can see it's, it, how it intensifies from being nothing there to just look at that. Blizzard, blizzard conditions. The states that will have blizzard conditions next week. Uh, will be South Dakota, Nebraska, and parts of Iowa. I'm just gonna say it, and you see parts of I uh parts of Iowa that got hit from Bruce still have snow on the ground there, and they're gonna get hit with more blizzard conditions. So Iowa, you guys have to watch out. Parts of Nebraska, you guys gotta watch out. South Dakota, I'm not sure if you guys got hit by Bruce as hard, but still gotta watch out because this storm will be the jackpot for you guys. You guys will have to worry about this. Um. Total snowfall. Let me just back up there. So the storm happens starts about December first. So it mainly will happen around the. It will mainly happen in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. And by December first, it already have four inches there. Goes to eight and goes to ten. So basically, it starts from zero inches parts of Nebraska and South Dakota, and by end of the day, it's at ten inches. And then by Sunday, it's at 14 inches, you guys. This will be blizzard conditions. And as you see there, parts of Oregon get 25 inches there. And then it moves on to Iowa, gets 8 inches. The south part of South Dakota is going to get the jackpot, but the west can get 7 inches, but the northern part get about 1. And Minneapolis could get hit by this, or will, but not as bad. And then it just goes to the south. And then it just goes right to Erie. But you can see the potential. Let me just zoom in, guys, for you guys. Um, just want to let you guys clearly see. So it starts from zero. So this is December 1st to that in two days. And then it gets stronger and stronger. So guys, we have to we really have to watch out about this. Um just wanna let you guys know about this. Um let's go to the um sorry guys. Oh let's go check out the humidity because this will bring a big factor. So guys, this is what day? This is December 4th. Why is it like that? All right, guys, this is right now. This is humidity. And as we go to when the storm starts, as you can see that little big green spot right there near California and going through Nevada, that's the snow storm. And as it goes on west or east, Mesa's, that's December 1st. And you can see where South Dakota is in Nebraska. That's where all the humidity is, and that's where the snow storm is. Look at that. That's bringing a big factor. And that's where the snowstorm is. That's basically... it's. You can basically see, like, the snowstorm there, but it's just the humidity. And then as it goes away, it makes you a little drier. But look how much humidity is there while the storm... And December 2nd still there. And you see, I said the, snow, the snowstorm moves south to Nebraska and leaves out of South Dakota. You see it leaves South Dakota and still Nebraska and Iowa. And then it just leaves there. And then the next couple of days... You can see, ooh, maybe even the snow's from the south. You can see that December 8th, parts of the south gains some humidity. That can be some snow. Um, let's check out the, um, sorry guys, not working. Let's check out the, um, total accumulated precipitation. I just got to get out of here, guys. It's somehow... Some, so this is right now. Precipitation. As you can see more some rain there. 
for Central California. And when we get to December 1st, look at that big pink area. That's all the precipitation. Total, it can be snow or rain. Big jackpot there for parts of Nebraska. That's December 2nd there, so that can be some snow. And then, as you see, by December 4th, it basically stays the same. You can basically see the precipitation is just like that. By December 1st, it just gets in there. So parts of central Iowa can get some snow there and a potential a lot as we go on the next couple of weeks. And look, guys, same thing there. It's south, December 8th, more it goes with more precipitation. It's either rain or snow. But we saw the humidity go there, where it's what brought the snows from there to the Midwest. And now we're seeing the precipitation going to the Midwest. So, guys, we... I know I've said this a lot, but you guys have to prepare if you guys are in the path of this storm, especially if you're in South Dakota or Nebraska. If you're in Minneapolis or parts of South Iowa, I wouldn't worry as much because cause you, guys, you guys are getting hit hard, but not as hard as, um, well, yeah, you guys kind of know. But, oh, sorry, guys. Let's go on to the back to the radar so here so it was December 8th right all right so I want to go back December 1st starts right there goes through South Dakota leaves South Dakota and stays in Nebraska and Iowa and parts of Minnesota and then it just goes on so I think it was December 8th or 9th where that saw that I'm trying to check it all right there's December 8th parts of the south Oh, yeah, December 9th, there. And let's go more to the future. Ooh, look, some snow there for December 12th for parts of Georgia, if that's correct. Well, guys, that is the video. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell because you get instant notifications on your YouTube if I made it with, when I made a video. Hope you guys liked it. If I did anything wrong, comment. Comment to me below if you are in the path of the storm. And comment to me below how many entries you got so far. And hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah. Bye guys. Hope you guys liked it.